up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be reviewing the upcoming Buff Bunny collection, Undead Collection. The Undead Collection launches this Saturday, October 8th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to set your alarms for launch because if you're familiar with Buff Bunny launches, super popular items can sell out pretty quickly. So as always, before we get started, everything that I show you in this video will be listed in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. And I did just wanna let you know that I do have a Buff Bunny Collection discount code. It's just my name, Shannon. Thank you so, so much to any of you who choose to use my code when you shop Buff Bunny Collection. It helps directly support me. So thank you very much for that. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. So the first piece I have on right now, this is the Candy Wrap Sports Bra, and I got this in white, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So the Candy Wrap Sports Bra originally launched earlier this year um, in the Sugar Rush collection, and it sold out so quickly, um, rightfully so, because it is very, very cute. Um, so this was super popular, so they're bringing it back um, in new colors. So as you can see, it is a like scoop neck, kind of scoop neck V-neck um, top. It has the little wrap detail in the front, and then it has a super cute strappy back with adjustable straps, um, and it does have removable cut pads as well. I actually took the um, cut pads out because I find that with white sports bras, cut pads usually like show through. Um, so I usually take the cut pads out of my white sports bras, but it does have removable cut pads and the body, not the straps, but the body of the sports bra is made from Buff Bunny New Bray fabric, the super, super soft, um, stretchy fabric. So clearly super cute sports bra. Like I said, very, very popular. The one thing I'll point out, I don't remember if I had this problem with the last candy wrap sports bra that I had. I, I feel like I did um, but this baby is pretty tight um, obviously the, the small does fit um, but like on my back I just kind of feel like it like squeezes um, like my lats a little bit and it's just like it's pretty tight on my <laughs> rib cage even um, so I definitely would say that if you are in between sizes um, or you're like maybe like on the larger end of your size, I would consider sizing up. Um, unless you're someone that really likes a lot of compression in your sports bras, then you can stick with your regular size. But if you don't wanna feel super compressed or squeezed, I would recommend sizing up. I feel like I definitely could have gotten this in a medium and it would have fit comfortably. Now obviously this does nice things for the girls, really just kind of perks them up. Um, even though it does show some cleave, uh, this is pretty supportive, probably because it is so compressive, at least in this size, it's super compressive. So I would say that this is a medium, maybe even medium to high compression sports bra. The next thing I have here is the Wave Short, and I got this in the Onyx Black slash White in a size small. So these shorts are high rise, they have a four inch inseam and they're made from brushed nylon fabric. So kind of like smooth um, and stretchy, definitely not much compression in these. Um, no front seam and then they have a little bit of a booty contour seam in the back and some cute little seaming details on the sides. I'm pretty sure the wave short has been released before pretty positive, um, but I really, really like the um, contrast seam details on here, especially with the white and black. I just feel like it looks so good. We love a just classic black and white moment. I will say these definitely do um, ride up as you wear them. There's not much like compression in them at all, so they don't really like stay in place um, on your thighs, um, but when they do ride up, since there isn't a lot of compression, they don't really like dig in even as they like raise up. I'm sure some of you have experienced um, when you're wearing like tight shorts that ride up and they ride up and then they really squeeze like the top of your thighs. Um, these don't squeeze, but I did want to point out that they do ride up, especially if you're gonna wear these like 
squatting and stuff like they're gonna ride up to basically be like a booty short length so personally not my personal preference for something like leg day i would do upper body day or just like go for a walk or like just like wear these around um but yeah they definitely do ride up up next i have the ivy crop in avo green in a size small So the Ivy Crop launched last year, and again, a super, super popular top, um, and it sold out super quickly, and they brought it back a couple times, and now they're bringing it back again. Um, so I love this, um, like, Avo, I feel like it's a little dark for avocado. Maybe it's like the outside of an avocado. I was thinking inside of avocado. I was like, it would be a brighter green if it was avocado, but the outside of an avocado, I guess that's what this color is going for, um, but I really, really like this green color. Um, this is made from Nubre fabric, so soft and stretchy, double lined, and it has removable cut pads. It has thin straps here, um, and the back is my favorite part. Obviously, I love a strappy back, so I love that this is basically all open back, just with a, a little strappy back back there. Um, and it's a decent length too. It's not like a crop top that basically is a sports bra. Um, so it ends, at least for me, um, with my height and torso length, it ends um, like right at the top of a pair of high rise um, leggings or shorts. And then the only thing I wanted to point out about this is it does have a seam at the bottom, um, I, if you're like a seamless girly like me, something that I like to point out, because I don't always like seams at the bottom of sports bras. Um, I, I'm okay with a seam under the bust, but I really like a seamless like band. However, the seam really doesn't like dig in, in my opinion, like it's not too tight. Um, so therefore I'm okay with it. Um, and I would say that this is light support, um, even though it's higher neck, it's really not like very compressive. If you did want a little bit more compression um, or a little bit more support, you probably could size down in this. Like I feel like I probably could wear an extra small in this and it would still fit. Um, so yeah, if you want a little more compression size down, if you want just a nice like comfy fit, stick with your regular size. Okay, up next we have the Rosa Sports Bra V2 in triggered print and I'm wearing this in a size small. So if you're familiar with my reviews, you might know um, the Rosa sports bra is my favorite Buff Money Collection sports bra. Um, I just feel like it's like your classic long line sports bra um, that you can literally wear for like any type of exercise. It has removable cut pads, of course, and a dual strap um, crisscross kind of open back detail. Um, so the difference between the regular Rosa Sports Bra and the Rosa Sports Bra V2 is the fabric. Um, the regular is uh, Buff Bunny Collection New Bray fabric, which is their super soft, stretchy fabric. And the V2 is their Elysium fabric, which is their slick uh, performance fabric. So it's definitely a little bit more moisture wicking and it is also a little bit more compressive. Um, so with that being said, if you are in between sizes and you're getting the V2, you probably could size up if you want a little bit less compression. So for me with this one, kind of like the candy wrap one, I honestly feel like I could go either way between a small and a medium. Um, the small is definitely compressive, but if I wanted a little bit more of like a comfier fit, I probably could wear the medium. But either way, it is a like medium to high support sports bra, so you can literally wear it for any type of exercise. Like I've worn these sports bras to Barry's Boot Camp where you're doing sprints on treadmills and they hold me in. Um, and I'm like a 32D, 34C, one of those. So yeah, big Rosa sports bra girl. Um, and this print, I like it in the sports bra but not as much in the legging. We'll go over that right now. So these are the Rebel leggings and I'm wearing these in triggered print in a size small. So high rise, no front seam, full length. They have a booty contour seam in the back um, and they are also made from 
Elysium fabric, the same fabric as the sports bra. So they are medium to high compression and that kind of like moisture wicking performance fabric. Now I have some Rebel leggings um, from previous launches in other colors and prints. Um, and I really, really do like the Rebel legging. I just feel like this print isn't my favorite for like a legging. I like it as a sports bra, but as a legging, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of distracting and not like the most flattering. Like it doesn't really do much for the booty. Um, and I like things that make, make my booty look good, you know? So yeah, love the Rebel legging, but I, I don't know. I feel like I've had triggered print leggings before too, and I just, didn't really wear them very much uh, because it just wasn't my favorite print. I prefer the like more like animal prints or bossy print over the trigger print for leggings. I just want to think they make the booty look better. Up next we have the Revolution Sports Bra V2 in Black Dragon and I have this in a size small. If you're familiar with my reviews, you might know <laughs> the Revolution Sports Bra is probably my second favorite Buff Bunny Collection sports bra. So a little like runner up here. Um, so it is a long line sports bra with removable cut pads and a nice strappy back. Um, and my favorite part about the Revolution Sports Bra is these straps go out um, super far here, uh, which helps kind of cover up the armpit fat, you know, and like you get that kind of like squeeze over armpit fat kind of thing going on, which we all have it. Um, but if you don't like that like sensation, the Revolution Sports Bra goes right over it. Um, and it has like a nice little square neckline, makes the girls look pretty good. Um, it is a medium compression sports bra, so good for um, lifting and most like medium impact exercise. I have the Revolution Sports Bra in many, many colors and I wear it all the time. And since this is V2, um, this isn't Elysium fabric, but it kind of feels like it. It is like a, I think a nylon um, spandex blend and it does have that same feeling of Elysium. Um, I, I believe it is more of like a moisture wicking um, material, but it's not as impressive as Elysium fabric in my opinion. And I'm not sure if you can see, unless I come up close, the like black dragon um, little like print on it. It's not super obvious, um, but when you look up closely or like in the light, you can kind of see the like sheen of the print, but I definitely feel like it's a little fun and different. So lastly, we have the Viper legging in black dragon in a size small. These are high rise with a crisscross waistband, no front seam. They are full length um, and they have a booty contour seam on the back and they're made from the same um, nylon spandex blend as the sports bra. So I love these leggings. Um, this set actually launched last year um, as a part of the Mad Scientist collection, which was their kind of like Halloween drop uh, last year. So I've actually had this for a year and I really, really like it. I feel like it's fun because it's black, but like it's a little more fun than like your typical black outfit. Um, and I really like that it is made from kind of like a, a moisture wicking fabric, but it's not super compressive. If you're familiar with me and my taste, I'm not a big fan of compression. Um, so these leggings are definitely not um, super compressive like the Elysium fabric that I just showed you was. So yeah, this sold out last year um, and it's one of my favorite things launching, so would recommend. So that is it for what I have to show you. But of course, as always, there is way more launching than just what I have here. Um, so I'm going to put on the screen some of the other items that are launching that I do not have.
I've gotta be completely honest, this is not my favorite Buff Bunny collection launch. Um, I just, maybe I'm just like a creature of habit and I like sticking to what I know and love, but like the Argyle um, like Joker print, I mean, it could be fun for like a costume, but it's just not something that I feel like I would wear often to the gym because it's just so loud and like different. Um, and then the Samba leggings um, with the little kind of like crotch lining detail. Um, also just <laughs> not my favorite. I've seen it done before um, and it's actually kind of like different and like high fashion almost. I just feel like people will be confused. Like if they don't get it, they're gonna be like, why does it look like you're wearing underwear outside of your leggings? I don't know. And I just don't wanna have to deal with that. So yeah, this isn't my favorite launch cause there were quite a few pieces that I was like, that was just a, absolutely not gonna work for me. <laughs> um, but you know, to each their own. If those pieces speak to you, by all means, you do you. Fashion is all about expressing your taste and your style anyway. Um, and I have to give it up to uh, Buff Money Collection because they actually try new things and they are creative and like launch different stuff that you don't see a lot of brands launching. So I have to give it up to them for at least being creative and trying new things instead of like launching the same thing over and over and over again, just in different colors, um, which can be a good thing too, obviously. If it's my Revolution or Rosa sports bra, please give it to me in every single color. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, I have a Buff Bunny Collection discount code. It's just my name, Shannon. Thank you so, so much if you choose to use my code when you shop Buff Bunny Collection. I so appreciate you. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer those for you. That is it, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.